Do you want to know what your content type options are if you're using the Thinkific LMS for your online course? My name is Kim Garnett. I'm the owner of Brainy Girl and the Online Course Creator Academy. And in today's lesson, I'm going to show you the different content types that you can use within your online course. So I thought today would be a great day to show you this. I'm actually in content creation mode, as you can tell by my hoodie. It's a Monday and I try to batch my content. So I'm batching my content today and as I'm doing that, I'm thinking about the different content types that I can use as I'm pre-planning a course. So I thought it would be a great time to take you behind the scenes and show you what kinds of different content variety and options you have when you're using Think Epic. So let's have a look here. Okay. So here's just a demo course that I have put together that shows some different examples. So the first one is a video. Obviously videos are very widely used in online courses and they're great for you know, welcoming people to your course. So this one, for instance. Hello and welcome to the Online Course Creator. So there we go, we've got an introduction to the course and it's a video. Now this one is actually on autoplay. I just paused it before uh, I came on here with you. And so, but this is generally on autoplay. Now you don't have to have it on autoplay, but I do find that when someone clicks on a lesson to have it start right away, can be good to get them engaged immediately. So there's video content. Now you can do this in several ways. You can, you know, do it like this. You can do a talking head where you have a green screen in the background. Um, you can have a PowerPoint that you make into a, export as a video. So there's lots of different ways. But basically, the, the idea is that you can uh, import any kind of video into your Thinkific course. So if we go down to other content types, you've got your text lesson. So generally, this can just be text. So something taken out of, say, a Word document or a Google uh, Doc and put in here. But the benefit of this is that you can also add in videos and audio and things like that throughout your text lesson to keep it interesting and keep them engaged. But maybe you don't just want a video, maybe you want to do an introduction to the video. You could use a text lesson and then drop your video in here. But in general, a text lesson is going to be text and then broken up by maybe some video or images or audio. So that's the second type is a text lesson. The third type, and I'm going to I'm going to click on it and it's going to start to play and that is an audio lesson. Audio lessons are a great way to add some variety to your courses. Let your students learn on the go. They so this is great for learning on the go and you can have it so that your students can actually download this content and you know use it on their smartphone, smartphone or on their desktop and listen to it while they're on the go. So they're still learning, but they don't have to be sitting in front of their device to be able to do it. So again, downloading it is an option, but it's a good option for keeping that learning going. There we go. Okay, so the third, uh, the third content type is an audio lesson. Then you have a PDF option. So you can sort of allow them to preview the PDF here, and then you can have the option of having them download the PDF as well. So if I click download PDF, it's going to download it right to their desktop. Again, this is optional. They don't have to be able to. They could just preview it in the screen if they want to. Now, please remember from a student's perspective, they can actually blow this up. So there's no distracting navigation bar on the left hand side. For this example, I'm just showing you with the navigation bar. So that's the fourth is the PDF lesson. Unit discussion. So Thinkific integrates natively with a uh, platform, a third party called Discuss, D-I-S-Q-U-S. And it's basically like a forum that you host and you can integrate it in different lessons in your Thinkific site. So you could actually have a forum happening right within uh, a lesson on your course. So that's Discuss. Then you've got different worksheets worksheets and downloads. So if you have multiple worksheets or multiple downloads that you want them students to be able to download before uh, a course begins or at the beginning of a unit or a chapter, then you can put them all in here. So in this case, I have uh, a PDF in here and I also have an Excel uh, spreadsheet. And so they can just click download and it just downloads here for them. So the next type is a presentation. So this would be like a PowerPoint that you create Let's blow this up so you can see it. A PowerPoint that you create and it goes through like a slideshow. So you save it as a PDF and you upload it as a PDF. Uh, presentation is the content type. 
And so they can go through and click on next slide. Now, the benefit of this is that you can actually record audio over the specific slides. So this would come in really handy if you want to re-record the audio and you don't want to um, you know, ex export it all as a video. You can actually do it as a slideshow. So I'm, these two slides didn't have audio. When I click on next slide, the audio is going to play. There are a number of different content types that you can use in your Thinkific course, including text, video, audio, PDF, downloads, present. So there we go. You get the idea of the presentation. Now, I've got a student assessment here. Uh, this would be the multimedia content type. So multimedia, you can basically take any external website link and plop it in here. So in this case, I've used a Google form. I also use a, let's go down here to course evaluation. I use a third party platform called Typeform, which I find really handy because it's an interactive form. And it's logic based, so I can say based on this, would you do this? So this is a type form and you can insert this. You could insert a blog post, uh, a Google Doc, a Google Spreadsheet, um, basically anything that has a URL, you can insert it here and that would be a multimedia type, content type. Then you've got surveys. So you can ask as a lesson, you can have different surveys. So who's the go-to gal for technology and marketing for course creators? Your options are me, or Gary V, and I put this in here because I love Gary, I do. So let's choose this one here. And I'm gonna click on next. And so this is just survey. Now you get the, uh, you can download the answers to this survey. This is, this is different than a quiz. It just, it's basically data mining and to find out an answer to a question. So it's a survey versus a quiz. So let's click on next. Now this one is a quiz content. So this is built into Thinkific, so you don't need an external like Typeform to do this. You can use the quiz option in Thinkific. So what content types can you add to your course on the Thinkific LMS? So I've listed off the different options here. And if I click on any of these and check it, it's gonna say that's wrong. The answer is incorrect. So I'm going to try it again, and I'm going to say all of the above. And as you can see, it puts a green next to it, so I know that that's the right answer. And I've got a validation answer as well. That's right, you can use these content types within your course on Thinkific. So there we go, that is the quiz, and we have done the multimedia. So just to recap, the different content types are video, text, audio, PDF, Discuss, Downloads, Presentation, Multimedia, Survey, Quiz, and there is one more and that is an exam and Thinkific hooks in with Brillium. It is an additional service, but you can hook it in and offer exams using Brillium inside your Thinkific course. So there's a number of different options for content types to keep your learners engaged in the content that you are creating. And before you start creating your course, you'll want to know the different kinds of content. So I hope this helps out. Please leave a comment below and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get more updates as I upload more videos.